Our next problem says after working for 25 years, you would like to have $800,000 in an annuity for early retirement. If the annual interest rate is 7.5% compounded monthly, what will your deposit need to be? So here's the formula we're using. It is a variation of the geometric, uh, sum of a geometric sequence. So A is going to be the amount after time. You have P, okay, and then P is times, let's see here, we've got 1 plus I to the nt minus 1, and then that is over i. Okay, and then of course, in here, we want to remember that i is going to be the rate divided by the number of times compounded. So if I'm plugging all of this in, let's get our i first. So i is going to be 0 0.075 is our rate, and we are compounded um, we're going to take the 7.5%, divide by 100, that gives us the 0 0.075, and we're compounding monthly, so that is 12 times a year. So uh, let's go ahead and get that. So that's 0 0.00625. And then we'll plug this into our formula. So we want our amount after time to be 800,000. So we're going to go 800,000 equals P. And then we have 1 plus our i, 0 0.00625, to the n is 12 times a year for 25 years. Okay, we have 25 years here. Minus 1 over 0 0.00625, our i. All right, so biggest thing here, we want to pay attention to order of operations. So just watch how I do this here. So first thing that I'm going to do, uh, well, what's 12 times? That is 300. Okay. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to do 1 plus 0 0.00625. Then I'm going to raise it to the 12 times 25. So I'm going to raise it to 300. Okay. And then I'm going to subtract 1. So that's going to give me my numerator. Okay. Then I'm going to divide by the point 0 0.00625. Okay, so that's going to give me this number here. So we're going to have 877.26. Dot, 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 because I'm not going to round. Okay, so if I want to solve for P, that's going to be the amount I need to deposit every month. I'm going to divide by this number here. Okay, so we're going to go here, 800,000. divided by, and then we're just going to pull this number here. So we don't want to round. So second negative to pull the answer. Okay, now we can round. So 911.93. So we want to deposit every month $911.93. Now that's a large amount of money, but it's only for 25 years. So um, if we wanted to extend another 10 years or even further than that, then we can decrease that amount there. Um, the next problem is really simple. This is just combination formula. So NCR in your calculator, or it would be N factorial over N minus R factorial, and then R factorial. So in this case, it would be 7 factorial over 7 minus 0 factorial, and then 0 factorial. And then in this case, that would be 7 factorial over 7 factorial, 0 factorial. And these guys cancel each other out. And 0 factorial is 1. So this is just 1. And then, of course, factorial, for those of you um, who don't remember, that's just, I'm going in descending order. So 7 times 6 times 5 times 4 times 3 times 2 times 1. So factorial just means multiply by all your previous ones. So like 10 factorial would be 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, blah, blah, blah. Um, the NCR is a command in our calculator. So in here we would go 7, and then you would go math over to PRB here, and then NCR, 0, and it will do it for you.